What does faith in God practically look like? Hello, my name is Kim, and today we'll be praying for greater faith. I remember as a kid, I would always hear my mom praying really loud on the phone with other women, like super loud, either early in the morning or late at night. I distinctly remember how often she would pray for women who wanted to bear children. I remember hearing the desperation, the conviction in their voices as they prayed to this invisible, all-knowing, all-powerful God to answer their prayers. There was something in their souls telling them to pray and believe. That something was faith. The beautiful part about all of this is that I got to get a little older, build a little faith, and hear the testimonies of those same women who prayed and heard God and God answered. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 1 that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It also says in 1 John 5 4 that everyone who's been born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that, they, that has overcome the world, our faith, which means no matter the obstacle the enemy throws your way, if you have faith, you've already overcome them all. The truth is faith requires a dependency on God that doesn't come easily. Life is hard and faith is what strengthens us to handle life's toughest battles. Faith is not just believing in God for the impossible, it's trusting Him when you can't track Him. So if you're in need of a little bit of faith today, I have good news for you. The Holy Spirit helps us in our unbelief when we struggle with faith. So don't be discouraged if faith isn't your strong suit right now. Today is a perfect day to pray for the Lord to give you more of it on your journey with Him. Let's pray together. God, we thank you so much for the gift of faith that you give to your children, those who trust in you. I pray right now, Father God, that you would give us a greater measure. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that those that are in a space where they just can't find it to believe in you. I pray that you would build their faith even now. I pray for those that may have lost their faith along the way, that you would stir it up again in their souls. I thank you for the Holy Spirit that you've given us to help us in our unbelief. And I just pray right now, Lord Jesus, that in all things, we would please you with our faith, that we would believe for the impossible and trust in you in all things. We love you, we thank you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray, amen.